Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. My name is Michael and today I'm going to be taking you through our latest Skyrim build, The Lunatic. The Lunatic is a very wacky build and uses gear from the Immersive Armors and Immersive Weapons mods. Also, I'd like to let you know that we're releasing our Vampire Temptress build within the next day or so, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. The Lunatic originates from elsewhere, the homeland of the Khajiit. He grew up with a pretty regular family, or at least what was considered normal in Khajiit culture. He spent most of his childhood enjoying himself and interestingly always loved to play fight with sticks and poles. His parents would always get annoyed at him for taking the heads off rakes so he would have a wooden pole to play with. Often, he'd just have to settle for a broom. Unfortunately, the kids the lunatic would play with fell into a bad crowd and they brought our build into it. He became hooked on Skooma at the age of 13, and he abused it for the next three years. He still enjoyed stick fighting, but now he had two passions. Combat and drugs. After having a bad trip from the drugs, the lunatic finally found a third passion. Mischievous thievery. This passion however arose later on in his life, in a certain place I will now reveal. After this crazy trip, the lunatic awoke in Shivering Isles the realm of madness. Going insane over time, the lunatic spends 10 years in the Shivering Isles. It only took him a year to lose his mind, so for the most of the experience, he enjoyed it. He had a natural talent for stealing things and would always play tricks on people. His favorite thing was to steal certain people's clothes and put them in the houses of other people these people didn't like. He loved reverse pickpocketing and he would even frame people of stealing other people's valuables when they were innocent. One day, however, the lunatic stole from the wrong person, a golden saint captain. For this, he was exiled and reawoke dazed on the border of Skyrim. After escaping from Helgen, he's gonna want to get his hands on an ebony quarterstaff, and he calls this his big black stick. You'll have to find one yourself after installing the immersive weapons mod. If you have to, you can invest in smithing and make one, but you can just find it as random loot. Besides the big black stick, your other gear comes from the Immersive Armors mod, and includes Hunter Armor, Hunter Boots, a tight fur collar, a fur hood, and Hunter Braces. We'll leave links to the mods in the description alongside our social media links, and also our perk link which will be for the following skills. The Lunatic has two-handed for his big black quarterstaff, Sneak to be stealthy and remain unseen, Pickpocket to steal from people's pockets to make money, undress people, and overall just cause chaos, and Lockpick to find your way into good loot and interesting places. The standing stone used by the Lunatic is the Lord Stone for 50 more points of armor rating and a 25% resistance to magic. However, we also recommend trying the Shadow Stone to become invisible once a day for those tight spots during a heist or certain escape. The stat spread we recommend is 40% health to stay alive and a massive 60% stamina to power attack non-stop, sprint away from guards if you're caught stealing, and roll in sneak mode. The playstyle for the lunatic is quite straightforward. You're gonna want to steal from others and sell it to make a monetary gain. You'll use this money to fund your drug habits and you'll also avoid combat unless you think you can defeat all the witnesses. The lunatic still wants to play with his stick, so don't be too passive. You'll of course do the Thieves Guild storyline and also for roleplaying purposes, you can imagine the lunatic can use his staff to pretend to be an old man and also to pole vault into hard to reach areas. Rumor has it he's best friends with an Argonian that collects cups. And that wraps up this week's Skyrim build, The Lunatic. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more so you don't miss out. I'd love if you could share this build with just one friend, so if you have any friends who love Elder Scrolls, and also just Fallout, please send them our way. I've put the perk link in the description just for you alongside our social media links for those who happen to care. My name is Michael, this was The Lunatic, and I'll see you very soon with some brand new videos.